you talk about Vikings, you, you think about um, those people who uh, fearless were jumping on their boats and going to conquest. So I think it, it calls for a, a completely different appreciation of scale, space, drama. For our Vikings, who are the the fighters, they're fighting dragons. They're not hiding, they're very brave, courageous, sometimes maybe to the point of stupidity. But anyway, uh, we had to create something that was more fitting. This is Burke. It snows nine months of the year and hails the other three. Any food that grows here is tough and tasteless. The people that grow here are even more so. The shape of the island was, in a way, a finger pointing at dragon. And if you see the, the, the village, the village is basically having that shape. You see a big rock like this and a peak. And it's basically a finger pointed at dragon, like I'm fighting you, I'm defying you. I remember uh, when the painting of the village, it was a, a black and white painting, and we showed it to Jeffrey. And he said, that's it. And then we went, Whoo! and uh, we went for it. For the dragons, they're the mystery, they're the fantasy of this movie. So we wanted something a lot more ambiguous, something that would be difficult to completely grasp. And uh, a world of uh, infusion, like a volcano, was perfectly adapted to this. What we did, as far as lighting, is we worked with uh, Roger Dickens. Roger Dickens is a very famous cinematographer. He, he brought us a completely different uh, vision uh, about colors and mood. Usually in animation, we're a little bit worried about going too dark or dramatic, and Roger gave us uh, a lot of strength to embrace it and to go with it. Um, having, for example, black shadows, dark shadows, is usually in animation a no-no. Uh, but he said, no, just go for it. If it supports the mood and the emotion, just, just go for it. <laughs> 